Elvis, have you gotten someone for me? Oh, Elvis, no, I've told you I want, like, I want, like, so far as the person can take care of me, I've told you. So far as the person can take care of me, I'm okay, like, I'm okay. You don't understand. No, listen, listen, right now, where I am, I can't talk much, but all I'm saying is, I just want anyone, anyone at all, whether the person is tall, short, I want him like that, see? I just want any, like, so far as the person is working and can take care of me and my family, I'm okay, like, I'm good. You know, I need to, I need to take care of my school. I have, like, one, one whole year, and you know the expenses are so much on campus. Like, I, I, need, I need help, because I need money, I need money for a whole lot of things. I don't have anything on me, I don't have any money. I don't have any money on me. You let me know, let me know. Let me know, I'll be waiting, I'll be expecting a whole place. Alright, bye. Alright, bye. Alright, bye. Alright, bye. Alright, Hey, what are you doing? You are always on your phone. What are you usually doing? Charlie, Charlie, <laughs> I've just discovered a new dating app. Hey, me near bread. I like. I want to hook myself up to someone. I've seen this black American be Charlie. Hello, hello. Anybody there? Can anyone hear me? Can you find yourself in this situation? Are you in this kind of situation? Don't worry. I'm here for you. Relax. We have things in common. I have some water here. So relax and... and let's talk. How did I arrive here? It wasn't as if someone was pressuring me to get married. No. At that time, I think early in my 20s, around 23, 24-ish, I was in level 300 and it got to a point where I really wanted to marry. Like. I really wanted to because I was actually struggling financially when I was in school, when I was on campus. And even though there were some menial jobs that I was doing, the money that I had from those jobs weren't able to take care of my needs as a girl, you know, like embody it, you know. Aside that, I'm the eldest, I'm the eldest of my siblings. So I felt I had that responsibility to take care of my siblings. Like it was my responsibility to take care of my siblings. I, w I really wanted to, them to know that I was capable of taking care of them. You know, big sister-ish, I was capable to take care of them and that I wanted to live an exemplary life for them. And so I thought that if I marry a rich man or somebody who had who could take care of me at that time everything will be okay the person will be able to take me through the rest of my school the person will be able to take care of my siblings i would be comfortable i would be convenient i wouldn't have to struggle financially so i mean i was all over contacting the friends that i knew to hook me up to people so that i would meet them on dates and then we can take it from there you know what i'm saying like you know what i mean but funny enough at that time the friends that I contacted to hook me up with, with people they knew that were single and ready to marry, I, I actually didn't really meet anyone. I didn't meet anyone at that time. And I was also searching myself. So I would go to online dating apps and then I'll be scrolling through my phone. I'll be scrolling through my phone and then trying to pair myself with someone and sending unnecessary text messages to to guys that I felt, you know, at that time I was looking for black Americans, you know. So I was all over every kind of online dating apps just because I wanted to be financially okay because I felt I was drowning in that struggle and I felt I was alone in that struggle. Fast forward, during one of my part-time jobs, I went out of campus and then on my way I met someone, I met this guy and all of a sudden i was following this guy everywhere i see if i decide to talk about this guy he he actually worked juju on me i mean that is that is not the main point of this video so i'm um, i'm going to talk about that aspect in another video but all i'm saying is i met this guy and this guy was ready to marry me so i was all over him i was i was all over him everywhere at every point of the way 
and I believed him totally. If you don't believe Juju exists, watch out for that video. I mean, let me know in the comment section if you want to know because I just want to raise awareness that it still exists. By God's grace, I got out of that situation. Fast forward, things started becoming better from the jobs. I think I was getting more part-time jobs to do and I was also getting more orders. So I was becoming financially okay. Things were getting better for me. So that idea was gradually disappearing from my from my head. And at that time, I was I was a Christian at, at that time as well. So I was also seeking for help from God to guide my to guide my thoughts and then really come through for me because it is something that I do not wish for anyone at all. It, because it was that serious. It, it got to that point. It was that serious. I could call as many friends that I knew who could hook me up to their friends. Um, and then I really wanted to settle down because I was struggling and I was really, um, I really wanted to make sure that my siblings were also okay. It was at that point of, of my time. So it's okay if you may be going through similar situation. I do not know the particular situation you may be. Yours may not be anything related to financial um, struggles. Yours may be pressure from friends. Yours may be anything at all. I do not know that particular issue that is really pressuring you to get married. You may be feeling lonely or you may be thinking that age is catching you up but then it's okay if you are having that kind of feeling and getting that all the time. It is completely fine. We all do get to that point in our lives where we feel that things are catching up and so we are drowning in certain situations and so we really need to settle down and we think that marriage can be one of the best solutions which would work for us however it is different if you feel you are completely okay now and that you are matured enough you are responsible enough you understand what marriage is at this point and so you are completely ready nobody is pressuring you no situation is influencing your decision to hurriedly get married it is completely different from that but then if you really are not ready to get married i would advise that you hold on for a while because looking back looking back to that time i was just in level 300 and anything could have happened who knows what would have happened to me at that time i was i was so immature even at that age for me i i don't think at that time i was fully matured and in my right senses to actually settle down and besides it was because of this financial situation that was really pushing me and influencing me from every angle to settle down now i am married not because anyone pressured me i married at my own pace when i realized that i was fully ready i have completed my masters i am financially stable I am mentally sound, I am healthy, I am doing very, very well, and so I have my inner peace. So if you are going through that kind of situation, I would really advise you that you look at the circle of friends that you are in, you know, for your own emotional well-being. If your, your circle of friends are always talking about marriage and how settling down with a rich man would cool off your situation, you might not get away with with a with hasty decision to get into marriage there are countless stories on the internet where people have found themselves in similar situations they decided to marry at all costs because of certain situations and they are stuck and some of them are not able to come out some of them have been suppressed some of them are being abused i do not want that to happen to you thank god that i am i was able to come out of of that critical moment in my life and I really pray that you, you would also be able to come out of that. So if you are at that, if you are at that moment of your life, I am with you in prayers that everything will go well for you. And I would advise that if you are a Christian, you really seek for the grace of God, for God to guide your thoughts and then and then help you and also pray alongside to to make things better for you. If you are not working, maybe you can also hop on some part-time job and part-time jobs if you are a student you can hop on a job if you are not doing anything just try to search for job as much as possible and god with god being our help he would be able he would deliver and he would help you okay he would come through for you and you should seek help if you need to if it is not related to finances and it is something else look for look for someone you really trust it could be your pastor it could be your elder it could be your best friend it could be your mentor anybody that you trust seek help and i really hope that you come out of this situation it is not an easy moment for anyone at all and i really do not wish that anyone would go through this course i have been there and it's such a serious issue so i really hope that you have learned something from this and 
whatever that you are going through just hold on do not let any situation pressure you to marry because for me if it hadn't been by the grace of god i do not know where i would have been and i would have married at that time and who knows what would have happened to me who knows i wouldn't be able to do my masters who knows i wouldn't be able to do what i'm supposed to do i have my full job now i am working i am fine my mind is free i have inner peace and i do things at my own pace and by god's grace my husband doesn't worry me so <laughs> So yeah, this is what I have for you today. If you don't know me, my name is Juliana. You are most welcome to my channel. And to you old subscribers, thank you all so much for returning and coming back all the time. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And I hope that, I hope that you still, <laughs> thank you so, bro, for now, baby, you said me right show. Bro, for now, baby. Thank you so much. Do subscribe and you haven't subscribed yet you don't like me subscribe and watch out for my next video bye i love you